Carol, in your mind? In my, in my mind is when governments have to borrow, it's like a Madoff scheme, when you have to borrow more and more to pay interest. A Madoff scheme or a Ponzi scheme, but let's name it, call it Madoff, is when you have to borrow to repay creditors. And that's what we are doing. The, the minute you enter that phase, there's, uh, there's nothing healthy about it uh, from an economic standpoint. That there is a large amount yes. of federal debt yes. is not new to the United States. Yeah, but we, have, we, we, we accumulated an additional trend, ten, uh, ten, so, some 10 trillion last, last phase since the crisis. Right. Okay, that's not... That's, that's and, and even more now with the tax cut of and course, the need whatever. We're accumulating more and more, plus we have hidden... Finance the deficits. Plus we have hidden liabilities that should count as debt. Like? Social Security, you have hidden liabilities, you have hidden uh, liabilities when you have to bail out firms, when you have, uh, we have hidden liabilities from student debt that, that are not going to be, I mean, you have, you have a lot of things, uh, a lot of debt that, I mean, if, if you so, could commit it to, to, to some expenditures, so on top of the nominal debt, you have some hidden uh, liabilities that should count like debt. Nassim, let's work yes. with your analogy. Yes. Right? Every Ponzi scheme eventually collapses. Everyone, practically. This Ponzi scheme, I mean, in, in, there ways, in, again, in your term, yes. is going to collapse as well? I mean, we're starting to see, uh, uh, you remember years ago we had crisis, we had debt crisis, and it starts in countries like Argentina, mm -hmm. starts in, uh, in 82, it started in, 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 in Latin American countries. Today, this is hitting the core, it's not the periphery, this is hitting the core. We start to have countries like Italy, uh, uh, and it's getting close to us ourselves, we have to borrow a lot. So the point, how do you get out of the accumulated are, debt? Are you predicting a sovereign debt crisis? I am not. Uh... So they are so right that this is a Ponzi scheme and he's calling him out. Uh, the governments are creating a, con a Ponzi scheme and if you know the history of cryptocurrencies, they were created to prevent this Ponzi scheme of governments devaluing their currency to get out of the debt and people who hold that currency obviously get wiped out and you see this in Venezuela, another country is Iran, they have very weak currency. And so uh, a way to protect yourself is obviously precious metals and commodities, but another valuable asset class that I believe will be up and coming and will hopefully in the future be used as a hedge against these Ponzi schemes will be crypto. And that's why I think it's very important that you subscribe to this channel and continue to educate yourself about cryptocurrencies, even if you're not investing, to see what's going to happen when this debt bubble does collapse and what will happen to crypto prices. But let me know your thoughts on this, and I will talk to you soon.